Hello, my name is Dominic Green, Cloud Practice Lead at North Door, the award-winning cloud consultancy. I'm joined today by one of my clients, Kevin Trill, Director of Technology and Transformation from Blue Cube Travel. Thanks for joining us today, Kevin, and welcome. Thank you for having me, Dom. Um, I think, I guess, uh, we collaborated on a cloud transformation project for yourselves a while ago um, and kind of transformed the way that Blue Cube Travel do things, I'd like to think. Definitely. Do you want to talk about that for a little bit? Yes, when we set out um, our project, it was very much to move away from an on-premise environment to something. Sure. And the, the drivers for that were, were varied, but it was very much to modernise our infrastructure and take account of GDPR and ensure that data protection was uh, handled correctly as well. We had a couple of choices. We, we could do some plaster or we could almost treat it as uh, we were a new company and what would we like? Um, we, we chose the latter. Sure. So I guess in terms of the project that we delivered, it was, uh, it was all based on cloud services. What were your key, key reasons for choosing North Door? Well, we, we didn't um, initially set out uh, to, to choose North Door. Um, I, although I had a relationship with North Door over, over about decades, one way or the other, um, we created an RFP which en went out to a number of companies and North Door were one of those. And the, the response we got back was very comprehensive and demonstrated uh, a depth and breadth of knowledge that other responses didn't have. Uh, and it, it was uh, cost competitive as well. So it wasn't just uh, demonstrating the expertise, it was um, affordable and got us to where we wanted to be, which was uh, a cloud-based solution, which wasn't dependent on any one location within our environment. Sure. In terms of the project, was there a conscious decision by yourselves and BlueCube to, to go cloud first? Definitely. The, um, the, the benefits that we could see from going to cloud uh, far outweighed uh, remaining on-premise. In fact, I, uh, many, many years ago, I, I went to a solution before the cloud was a term in 2006, uh, which was what we now know as a cloud-based solution. Uh, then it was called Pistini, sure. and it was a denial of service um, solution from an Italian company. And um, Pistini stands for postman in right. uh, Italian, and it was to protect our mail service, which had been uh, under attack at the time. It, it was a very good solution taken over by Google um, eventually and uh, became part of their spam solution. But what that demonstrated to me fairly early on is that there were um, tools and solutions out there that as a company in our own right, we just simply couldn't afford. But by going to cloud, we could take advantage of scale and buy into effectively a better solution than we could have ourselves. Sure. And working with organizations such as yourselves, um, access expertise that otherwise we wouldn't have within the company. Amazing, great. In terms of transforming from a, a traditional on-premise environment um, to cloud services, uh, how, how did uh, BlueCube as a, an organization as a whole find that and your employees? Because it was planned and it, over a number of months uh, with North Door, uh, we had a project manager and we identified all of the services that we wanted to migrate from on-premise to a cloud solution. Um, we had the opportunity to work with yourselves on, on how that would happen. We arranged things uh, out of hours where it would have an impact and to minimize disruption to the business. So the, there was a big bang day and we educated the staff as to what that would mean, um, prepared the systems in advance but we, we did as much as we could in, in preparation for that. So that when it came, there really wasn't a lot for um, our staff to do differently. We'd already told them what to do. The, the biggest change was, was effectively working from what they would work as on-premise to working in the cloud. And there were some things that we had to work through with them um, how to do differently. Um, but that was a relatively easy uh, transition and, and then it was also ourselves in, in working with um, North Door because there were things that we were used to doing in-house that we then trusted North Door to do on our behalf. Sure. So there was quite a lot that we had to do, but through that um, planning process, um, it, it, it was not dramatic and fortunately there were, it was quite painless. Great. Um, so yeah, it, it worked well. Good, good to hear. Planning's the key. Indeed. 
And because of this transformation program, can you see any key benefits to, to the organisation by using cloud technology? Yes. Uh, it, it, not all of them we anticipated at the start. And, uh, but what we, we set out to achieve in that initial project um, was achieved very early on. And that was the ability to scale, um, whether that was up or down uh, within the infrastructure. Uh, access to expertise, which we get from Northdoor, and uh, security and everything that comes with uh, operating uh, within the cloud. Uh, what I should say is that we, not all of that happens just because you've gone to the cloud. Uh, there, there are certain things that we had to work with yourselves sure. to enhance. So it's not just a question of you've gone to the cloud, you've migrated, and fantastic, it's all there. You, you've still got um, your own systems, our own applications, and uh, need to be refined in that environment and we need to ensure that they're secure and it, it, it doesn't happen automatically. And there are things that we, we have done to make sure that they're, they're, we take advantage of all the security in the cloud, not just what's there at, at base level. Sure. So that the scalability has been uh, extremely useful for us. The security has been fantastic. Um, and there's been more and more products that have been uh, released whilst we've been in the cloud. So it, what was there initially has progressed and we've been able to take advantage of more things um, that have been released subsequently to us migrating to the cloud. Cool. As we're um, all aware, there's been a global pandemic that's affected uh, everyone globally. Um, how did that affect uh, Blue Cube and, and did you find that having cloud technologies enabled you to survive better or how in general did you feel? The pandemic had a massive massive effect on us as a company. Um, we are a business travel agent and um, we were one of the first to feel the effects and one of the last to, well, in fact, um, yeah, see coming out of the, the pandemic. Um, so it, it hit us very hard. And the, the cloud project that we'd implemented um, allowed us to uh, transform the way that we worked quite literally overnight because when the lockdowns came into effect, we were already working remotely. Sure. Um, the fact that we happened to be in the office, uh, the systems didn't know that we transitioned from an office-based solution to a, a remote working solution because it was already set up in that way uh, when we implemented the project. So there were a few laptops that we had to get, but literally uh, within a couple of days of saying, right, we now need to be a home-based operation rather than the, an office-based one, um, we, we didn't have anything else to do. Our, our systems, our phones, uh, our messaging, um, everything was there and, and set up. So that was the, the, the first thing that we got a main benefit from. Uh, but secondly, in, in scalability, because as I mentioned before, it's not just about scaling up, it's about scaling down, and clearly our operation needed to scale down. So we were able to minimise cost um, by shutting some things down, we didn't need all, everything, all the power there that we, we had before, but we still needed to keep the systems going. I mean, we, we weren't totally shut down, we were just very, very quiet. So uh, again, with working with North Door, we were able to rely on your expertise there to keep things going because you know, we, we'd cut down on our staff within IT. So from a systems point of view, all the security was working, the vulnerability checks, um, nothing from that point of view changed. Sure. It was just the way that we were accessing the systems and how flexible we could be um, as a result of, of being in the cloud. And now that, that we've come out of that, um, we, we have gone back to the office, but we also work from home. So sure. we've got that hybrid solution. Um, we have an office solution, we have a remote solution, we have a hybrid solution. And that was all from the work that we did from that project. It was just there. So business as usual from wherever you are? Yeah, literally. Great. <laughs> so Blue Cube are heavily invested in um, infrastructure as a service for their, their key infrastructure. Um, we know you're using SaaS solutions for mail, video conferencing, voice, etc. Um, Paz, I, I note that you have dipped your toe into kind of some containerization services. Yep. Um, do you feel that there'll be a, a natural evolution into kind of Paz services going forward for Blue Cube for certain technology needs? Very much. The um it has to be said, we, we, we were able to take advantage of a solution from a, 
uh, industry's supplier for analytics because we're in the cloud and could implement uh, containerized solutions. So just by being where we are allowed us to take advantage of a solution that otherwise would have been problematic for us to implement. We do use a lot of infrastructure as a service and I, um, as our relationships with some of our application providers uh, matures, uh, then I'd certainly look to putting more platform as a service in there sure. uh, rather than um, having infrastructure as a service. It, it makes more sense to me in as much as there's, in effect, collectively for us, less to manage, yep. um, but we still get the advantage of the scalability and security benefits in there as well. But again, like we did before, it's a project. We need to properly plan it sure. and undertake the, the risk assessment with it as well. But as a direction, definitely... Um, that's where I see us continuing to go. Sure. And from the benefits that we've seen already in mail, in phones, um, I, I just see us tightening up on that even more than what we're doing at the moment. Sure. I think from a, from a North Door perspective, that's a trend that we're seeing. So a lot of organisations that have taken that footstep and are doing IaaS services are now kind of evolving that into, turning that into PaaS um, where applicable. So, yeah, it's good to hear. Mm. I think I'd say to anyone that, that, that is listening to this or going out on a journey of cloud is that um, you, you do need to, you don't know what you don't know. And it, it's important to find a partner, whoever that might be, that, that you can trust and demonstrates that they can support you in that journey. Because it is a journey. It, it's unlikely you would do everything day one. Sure. And to be able to get from where you are to to there, it, it needs proper planning to do it properly. Indeed. Uh, just switching it on is not going to do the it's job. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> as much as some people might try and say they can, it's, uh, yeah, it's a big job. Yeah, sure. Kevin, we touched on the cloud security earlier, and, and I, I understand there's still some scepticism around um, cloud services. How have um, Blue Cube addressed their cloud security and, and kind of future-proofed themselves? I think people are right to be sceptical of the cloud, but for good reason, not, not to be um, scared, but not to be complacent is the way I put it. Sure. Within BlueCube, we recognise that there, there are threats out there, um, threats that you know, and there's threats you don't know about. So we, as a result of going into the cloud, actually, um, it allowed us to implement a seam solution, which, not surprisingly, is in the cloud. But uh, we collect... Um, information from a range of uh, different sources and that's got um, one that seemed to look at what events are happening as well as um, human analysts as well so there's both an automated so uh, solution and analyst and that that baseline we've established over quite a long time so we understand what normal looks for blue cube sure and that means that when something happens out of the ordinary then that's very easy for us to identify and there are literally millions of events that happen um, across a week uh, and you know it's, it's impossible to to reconcile those if someone was looking at it manually and it's it, you know the cloud is under constant um, threat I mean there's no getting away from that um, we put in strategies to to minimize that um, those threats that we see and make sure that we're as prepared as we can be for the threats that we can't see because sure. you get zero day threats and, and new vulnerabilities happening all the time. So, yeah, you, 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 you do need to do, be active when it comes to the security side of it and just relying on some passive approach I, I wouldn't recommend. I think you need to be aware of what's happening within your environment um, to understand what normal looks like for your organisation um, you can do that in-house, you can go to experts, um, there's, there's plenty of ways of doing it, sure. but, but just don't assume it's, the cloud is natively secure, because if you do, then it's probably coming to bite you. Definitely. Yeah, I, I see that in our experience, you can mitigate risk in the cloud. Um, there are multiple solutions you can use, some provided by the key vendors. Um, but yeah, I, I think the key thing is be prepared and um, protect yourself. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, th I think you just understand that you are under threat and for anyone that goes and looks at logs um, especially those that are external facing uh, there's just a whole world out there which is automated um, to try and crack what it is that you've got so sure. um, the best defense you can do is to have put active defenses up there and 
and keep monitoring what it is that is happening on your external facing uh, devices and internal. Don't, no, shouldn't forget internal as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Cool. So we talked about um, cloud services and how we help to implement your cloud solution. Um, uh, Cert North Door also support and manage your services for you as part of our managed services solutions. How do you find us looking after your environment? Well, um, given that we're sitting here, obviously, I'm going to say <laughs> it works very well, but I should explain why and um, why I'm happy to be here uh, chatting to you uh, on a camera. And, and that's because we, we, we don't have the resources internally to do what we do. Um, we're a relatively small company at the end of the day, but the, the range of solutions uh, and applications that we have um, we, we couldn't have if we were trying to support that internally. We, we'd need a team three or four times the, the size that we are with um, skills that we currently don't have in-house and uh, with, with recruitment shortages that are out in the marketplace at the moment, I, I'm not even sure we could get the people even if we wanted them. So the relationship we, we have with, with yourselves is we, we trust you with our systems and, sure. and our customers at the end of the day. And you've demonstrated that you understand our environment. And there's, there's what's written on a contract, and then there's, I can ring you up, and one of my guys can ring up North Door and basically say, there's this and that issue. And I, I know that you understand us as an organization, and that if certain things are not quite what they should be, that that will get the attention it deserves, uh, especially if there's a critical issue that needs looking after quite urgently. but. They're the break fix type of things, but also from a, an expertise point of view that we can talk about the future of the cloud and certain solutions. And because you understand our environment, then I, I, I have a certain knowledge of certain things, but you have more in-depth knowledge about where things are going and, and how they work. So what that means for Blue Cube is that we've got access to um, the consultancy side of North Door. We've got access to the managed services side of North Door and other services that are there as well uh, that, that we just simply could not have as, as a small um, SME, which is what we are. Um, it allows us to punch above our weight sure. uh, within the marketplace and, and offer really enterprise type um, approaches to applications, and data, um, how we manage ourselves as a business. So quite simply, we couldn't do if we were just a company of 40, 50 people and uh, had a couple of people in IT. We would be back to the on-premise bit that we we moved away from. Sure. So um, yeah, we we couldn't we literally couldn't do it without uh, an organisation like North Door. Simple as that. Kevin, thank you for your time today and uh, insights into Blue Cube Travel. Um, I look forward to uh, continued successes and um, enjoying our journey um, on this digital transformation that we've we've embarked on. Thank you, Don. It's been a pleasure to work with North Door and be here with you today. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you.